Here we go! March Madness! How about that? This is gonna be a wild ride. What a game! Anything can happen in March! To be forever a champion. How about that? Absolute madness! And we welcome you once again to the SGBA. And we're in the Sweet 16 with the Duke Blue Devils against the Georgia Bulldogs. The Blue Devils are coming in rank number 10, and the Bulldogs are rank number 8, and this should be a great matchup. Bulldogs will take the court today with Nene at the point, Fisher, Bryant, Sagusin, and Tarkley in the middle. The Blue Devils are matching with Dinkins, Cannon, Robert, Jones, and Soto in the middle. And I smell a good matchup in the middle between Soto and Tarkley. So let's see how that plays out. When we get it started quickly with the Blue Devils in the front court as they win the tip. Moving from left to right. Looking for an opportunity at a quick basket. Drop in in the corner. Shooter pops out. Still looking for a basket at the time. As the shot clock winds down into the post, man, he pops it out for the open shooter. And you know in this league, if you leave them open, they're going to knock it down. Bang, bang, bang. And the Blue Devils are off to a quick 3-0 lead. And the Bulldogs trying to match it. As he takes the turnaround jumper, and it goes in. 3-2. Blue Devils looking for an opportunity in the paint. Big man is fouled, and he's going to go to the line to shoot his first two of the night. Soto's been averaging about 18 points a night this year, and he's been pulling about 10 rebounds a night, too. That's some good numbers for the big man. Probably one of the, one of the reasons the Blue, the Blue Devils are in the Sweet 16, as he knocks both of those free throws down. 5-2 Blue Devils. Bulldogs looking for some offense early. So Goose in off the screen. A nice little fadeaway jump off the glass and it drops for him. Four points early for him as the Bulldogs are looking to match the same tempo as the Blue Devils. Devils down in the paint once again to that big man and Soto makes him pay for it. And if the Blue Devils are going to attack in the paint. I think they're going to have a good night for the big man. He's already been averaging 18 points a night, and if they keep feeding it to him, it could be, it could smell something good for the Blue Devils. Bulldogs match with the three. 7-7, seven, seven. Duke, early first, and he's looking to pick up the foul there, and it'll stop the ball on the side. Blue Devils inbound quickly, top of the key, 17 on the shot clock, moving the ball around, looking for some offense. Seven on the clock, shooter with a little space, drives towards the lane, Soto puts it up and in. And he's off to a good start tonight. With a couple of quick baskets and he's got the Blue Devils out to a 9-7 lead. Bulldogs on the attack. Setting a couple screens, looking to work that offense. Gets a good look at the basket and he knocks it down. Ties the game. Nene with the good look. He's just shooting 33% from the field, but he's looking to see a lot of opportunities in this game if he continues to move the ball towards the rim. But the Blue Devils have found their answer in the tank with Soto. That's another quick one off the board, and he keeps the, the Blue Devils in front, 11 to 9. Bulldogs moving from right to left, looking for some offense. Setting a couple screens. Mimi off the screen. Once again with the mismatch. Eight on the clock. P couple of pump fade. He goes up and gets the big man in. Rolls <laughs> all the way around the rim and all the way in for him. He ties the game at 11. 
Blue Devils on the attack. Pulls up for the jumper, and that's off the top of the rim. Bulldogs moving the ball up the court quick, looking for looking to take an advantage, setting a couple of screens, looking to see that offense work early in the first. A little one-on-one -on -one solo action un underneath. Nine in the shot clock. He puts up the turnaround jumper and it comes off the top of the rim. Blue Devils, Blue, Blue Devils on the move. Ball swinging around into the paint. Soto, couple of moves in the easy basket in the paint once again. Soto with the sweet move to the hoop for the two in the. Blue Devils are up, 13-11. Georgia looking to answer. Drops the ball down in the paint itself. Couple of pump fakes. He's kind of stuck. Goes up with the hook, and he gets it to drop. The Bulldogs are matching the intensity of the Blue Devils, but they're continuing to attack as they move the ball to the front court. And of course, Soto on the move to the hoops, and he gets the dunk. Trade baskets early in the first. This has all the recipes of a good one. Bulldogs looking for an opportunity off the screen. Nine on the shot clock. Couple of pump fakes. Looking for the big, big man cutting towards the hoop. Pushes it back out to three. Shot clock running down. That's off the back of the rim. Blue Devils on the move. Had to slow it up and get into a couple of offensive sets. Setting a couple of screens and each team has been draining down the shot clock early in the first. It hasn't been easy finding the basket with the with the step back three. And you know what happens when you give them a little space in this league. They tend to knock it down every single time. Bang, bang, bang. And that three was big as he gave Duke a little bit of space. And Georgia seems to match in the paint, and he's and he's looking at the ref for the foul. I don't know why he didn't get the wrestle, but he did get the basket. 18-15, Blue Devils in the lead, looking to add to it. Soto on the baseline, puts up the jumper. He's off the back of the iron. Bulldogs moving from right to left pretty quickly. Shooter in the corner. He's wide open, and you know what happens when they lead him out open in this league. Bang, bang. Bang. Georgia's not being left behind in this one. 18-18, early in, early in the first quarter, these teams have been trading baskets the whole quarter. The jumpers off slightly, but there's Soto with the rebound and the dunk. And he's been all over the place in this first quarter. 2018, about a minute and a half left in the first. Nene looking to drive, puts up the jumper, and it's in once again. 2020. Blue Devils on the attack, looking for a good basket, drops it down in the paint, he kicks it back out. Shot clock under 10 once again. Looking for an opportunity. Here he finds one off the dribble and he finishes with the big dunk. Blue Devils controlling this first quarter, but they've been trading baskets. And Georgia looking to answer once again into the paint. And I tell you, they have to find an answer for Sagus, and in this first quarter, he's dropped 10, and he's been the answer for Georgia. 22-22, both teams are, are getting good opportunities at the basket. Under a minute left in the first quarter. He's up with the jumper, and he's in with the jumpers. And the Blue Devils are pretty much getting anything that they want on the offensive end but they haven't found any defense in this first quarter because Georgia has been pushing the needle. 
Nini on the drive again. Another open look and another basket. 24-24. Seconds left in the first quarter. Blue Devils looking, the, looking for the lead. Off the back of the rim. Bulldogs on the run. He pushes it towards the rim and he picks up the foul. First personal foul, first team foul. And the line for your home team, Fisher. Fisher headed to the line for two. 24-24 game. Take a break. Take a break. About 29 two seconds shots. left in the first quarter. And the first free throw is up. And we see our first substitution of the game. And maybe they could get off to a quick start in the second quarter. But the Bulldogs at the line for his second. Fisher up and in. And this might create a two-for-one situation for the Blue Devils. Let's see if they can get off a quick basket. Soto pushing it. Now he backs back, backs back up. And he'll probably hold for the last shot. And that last shot is a move towards the rim and a vicious dunk. 26-26. Seconds left in the quarter. Nini, the length of the court. And he gets the jump of the foul. Right before the buzzer. And the Georgia Bulldogs take a 28-26 lead at the end of the, set, at the end of the first quarter. But it was all offense for both teams as they traded baskets on both ends of the court. And we get this second quarter started off real quick. Bulldogs moving from right to left, pushing. Looking for a good opportunity on offense. And they found a whole bunch of them in the first quarter. Looking to build on this lead. Mimi pushing. And he pushes all the way to the rim. And he finds some elevation to dunk. Ooh, it was that over Soto. Look out below. And that'll be on a highlight film all over, all over tonight. Sweet 16 action. SGBA. Duke. Georgia. Bulldogs controlling the game 30-26, but the Blue Devils are not far behind. It's been all offense. Shot clock down to five. Blue Devils looking for an opportunity. A, a nice move towards the hoop, and he gets the easy layup. And the, and the Blue Devils needed a basket because the Bulldogs are starting to get some momentum. 30-28, Bulldogs up early second. Moving ball. Moving the ball around, looking for a shot. Fisher up and in. And that's his second basket in this second quarter. And maybe he's gonna maybe he's gonna get some more opportunities like that. Maybe he's found his hot button. Blue Devils in the paint. Fade away, jumper, and that falls. For Jones. Assisted by number eleven. And neither team gets any breathing room in this one. Bulldogs on the attack. Ball in the corner. Swings it out to the top. Off the screen. Still pushing the issue towards the rim. And he finds it off the glass for two. Number 15. And I tell you, Georgia headed towards the rim with the basketball. Has been able to find some good opportunities, some good layups. And I don't think Duke can stop them in the paint. Bull, Blue Devils try to alley oop. Doesn't work. Bulldogs on the on the run. Working his way towards the rim again. Off balance shot and it falls. Number 15. And I think somebody has found their game early in this first half. They made with the 19 points and he continues to find his rhythm 
Blue Devils looking to answer. Down 36-30. Puts up the jumper and it falls for him. And that one right there silenced the crowd here in Arizona. Blue Devils will not go away, but Georgia controlling the game right now. 36-32. About six minutes left in the second quarter. Bulldogs looking for some offense. Ball swinging around the perimeter. Nine left on the shot clock. And they may toss the rim. Dishes it to the big man for the flush. And the pick and roll works perfectly. Good time because nene has been killing them. 38-32. Bulldogs up. Blue Devils looking for offense. And they need a big shot right now. Off the screen, step back, thought about it, pushed it out to the three line, shooter in the corner. Coming off the screen, drops it down low, Soto up for a pump, faking off the glass. And that's been unstoppable all game. Duke in the paint with Soto, he's shown you why he's been an 18 and 10 guy all season and he's continuing to add stats to the record books here in Duke. Bulldogs up 38-34. But the Blue Devils won't go away. Sagusa low in the paint. 10 on the shot clock. Pump fakes. Goes up. Shot is blocked. Gets the rebound himself. Pushes it back out. Threes on the shot clock. Nene up with the jumper off the, off the board. Blue Devils move quickly up the court. Looking for a good opportunity off the Soto. Pick Jenkins to the hoop for the easy two. Four minutes left in the second quarter. Bulldogs up 38-36. They try to drop it down in the paint and Duke gets the turnover once again on the run. Pushing the ball up the court. Soto's there to finish with the dunk. And the Blue Devils are on a little run now. And look out, Georgia, here they come. 38-38, they have tied the game. Georgia looking for an answer now. Off the screen, puts up the jumper. He's off the front of the court, and Blue Devils on the move again. Moving the ball up the floor pretty quickly from left to right. Soto at the top of the key, passes it out. Back to Soto in the paint, just like he likes it. He's surrounded by Bulldogs, and one of them reaches in and fouls him. And that foul stops the clock for the first time in a while, and we get a couple of substitutions in. And, and it looks like the Blue Devils are trying to start this inbounds quickly. Soto, late low in the key, pushes it out, 10 on the clock. Blue Devils still surveying. Soto pushed a little out, down in the paint. Bulldogs with the huge block. In transition, you know, we always say in the SGBA league, good defense leads to good offense, and we see it right there with the block in the finish. And the Bulldogs take back control of the game. Forty to thirty-eight. They've been trading baskets all first half. Both teams have been all offense, very little defense. Blue Devils looking for another good opportunity off the pick and roll. It's been working all day for them. Dropping it down low. Jones swinging it back to Soto. He's been the man. He puts up the jumper. He's off the front of the rim. Bulldogs on the run. Looking to build on this lead. Nine on the clock. Ball swings in the hands of Nene. He's surveying. Four on the clock. Three on the clock. He pitches it and they luckily pick up the foul. Jones is in the way and he picks up the blocking foul with, with what? Two seconds left on the play clock. Mm, good defense by the Blue Devils. Lewis to check in for the Blue Devils as Jones goes and sits down for the moment. 
Bulldogs looking to start fast. About two minutes left in the, in the second quarter. Inbound, bell them out of shot clock violation. But it's back to five seconds left on the clock. Bulldogs let it go from deep. And you know what happens when they get an open shot from deep. Bang, bang, bang. This is the SGBA league. And open shots always end in the bottom of the rim. Just like that one, the match for the Blue Devils. Because they're not going away anytime soon. They're going to take this one down to the wire. 43-41, Georgia up. Late in the second quarter. Georgia on the post. He's been there all night getting everything he wants, just like that turnaround jumper. Forty-five, forty-one. Georgia up, but Duke's still fighting. A little over a minute left in this first first half. Blue Devils looking for a good opportunity. Five left on the clock, swings it around. He puts it up from deep, off the iron. Leads to the Bulldogs in transition. They push it up the floor, but he holds it. Off the screen, puts it up for the jumper. He's off the glass, rebound to the big man properly, and he finishes strong. And the Bulldogs stay in control. Late in the second half, under a minute, 47-41. Duke looking for an opportunity right now for a big shot. Soto on the screen. 10 left on the clock. Blue Devils looking for a shooter. Here he's holding. Three, two, one. He Finds himself in a shot clock violation and some good defense by the Bulldogs late in the first half. Got confused at the top of the key. I don't know why he was holding on to the ball, but it forced the shot clock violation and coming in too late in the half. That was a big play by the Georgia Bulldogs defense. 47-41. A little bit over 15 seconds left in the half. It looks like the Bulldogs are holding on for the last shot of the half. Top of the key, he's gonna drain it all the way down. Three, two, one. He lets it go off of the back of the iron and let it do it for the first half. Bulldogs have been in control this whole second quarter, but it's been all offense for both teams. 47-41, and this has been a slugfest. Georgia has had everything they wanted in the paint, and Duke has been able to find everything they wanted in the offensive end in the paint. Big halves by both Nene from the Bulldogs, and of course, Soto for the Blue Devils. And the Bulldogs getting this second half started quickly. Moving from left to right, Bulldogs surveying the defense, moves it around the top of the key. Fishing with the ball in his hand. Eight on the shot clock. Moves it to the big man, Tarkley. Back to Fisher in the corner. Two on the clock. Moves it around. Push it up off the back of the board. That, that shot was forced, but Blue Devils on the move quickly. Looking to get themselves back in this game in the second half. They were able to find the basket early in the second quarter, but it kind of faded away on some good defensive plays for the Bulldogs late in the second half. So they're looking to build on build on what they had in the first quarter and get back into this game. And a nice shot off the glass for that too. Bulldogs lets it go from three. And he finds it from three. Fifty forty three. Bulldogs in the lead. Blue Devils on the attack. Swinging around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. Opportunity. Pushing it towards the rim. Once again, under 10 on the clock. Georgia has been forcing the long shot clock this whole game. Blue Devils from the corner. Off to the iron. Bulldogs on the run. 
Fisher had the high hand early in the second half. Early three, this early three, maybe can get him going again. Let's it go once again. Nene from three. Bang, bang, bang. And I think the Bulldogs have found their range. They built a 10-point lead early in the second half, and the Blue Devils are looking for some offense. Crowd chanting defense, Soto to the lane, huge dunk, huge basket for the Blue Devils as they won't go away. They cut into the lead, 45-53. But Bulldogs, nice and calm, moving, working their offense, moving the ball around the paint, looking for the big man on the post, nine on the clock, sets the screen. Nene towards the hoop, off balance shot up and in. And he's been shooting off balance all night, but that seems like it works for him because he has been hitting them. And Soto with the answer on the other end. Jones. Off the pick and roll, was able to put up the basket and maybe they need to go back to him a little bit more because it's been working for him. Bulldogs in control, down in the post, open shooter in the corner, bang, bang, bang. He opens it back up to 11 point lead for the dogs and they're rolling now. They found their range from three early in this third quarter, and they've opened up an 11-point lead on the Blue Devils. Blue Devils there to match it with another three of their own, and they have shooters themselves, so watch out. This could turn into a three-point competition. Bulldogs are in control. Working their offense. Moving the ball towards the paint. Pops it out, shooter, lets it go. Kind of forced that one off the rim. Blue Devils on the move. Good defense, headed into good offense as he gets the easy layup off the backboard and Roberts adds to the Blue Devils efforts to come back in this game. 58-52, Devils are not going away. Bulldogs are looking for Looking to maintain. Nene in the front court with the ball. Drops it down to the big man with the easy two off the glass. Blue Devils down 60-52. Drops the ball down in the post. Out to the open shooter. He lines it up, he lets it go, bang, bang, bang. And that was a huge shot for the Blue Devils as they cut this lead down to five. They seem to found a little offense late in this third quarter and they need it all. Bulldogs on the attack, off the screen, six seconds left on the clock. Number 15, off the backboard once again, and they haven't been able to stop this kid all night. 62-55, dogs up front. Duke on the attack, looking to get back in this game, and this game right here has been all offense off the glass once again. Trading baskets like they've done all first half. Dogs up, dogs up 62-57. Push it towards the rim, off balance shot, off the back of the board. Devils pushing front court, Soto in front of the defense and he finishes with authority. That's what happens when you let the big man get in front of the defense. He definitely knows how to flush it down. Devils won't go away. 
But Bulldogs still up 62-59. Number 15 once again continues to make his way towards the rim and continues to make his way on the highlight reel. Keeps Georgia in control of this game. Blue Devils looking for offense, moving quickly until all of their sets, trying to get back into this game. 10 seconds left on the clock. Soto out towards the perimeter, sets the pick, move towards the rim, shooter in the corner, shot clock running down, top of the perimeter, he lets it go. Duke gets the rebound, resets the shot clock. Two minutes remaining in the third, two minutes. Moves it back around the perimeter. Soto with the, with the pick, moves towards the rim and gets the easy layup. And that was a well-deserved basket because they stayed all the way with that play. From the first initial jumper, the rebound, and all the way to the put back again. Down by three. Bull, Bulldogs looking for a basket. In the paint. Off the glass. And they needed that one right there. To Goosen, when you need a basket, he's the one to call. 12 of his 14 points have been in the paint tonight, and the Bulldogs are rocking the 66 to 61 lead. But the Devils have something to say about it as he cuts towards the lane and he elevates over the defender, cocks it back, and dunks it down with authority. 66 63. Bulldogs in control, looking to add to their lead. And the Devils are playing some good defense down low as they get into a little, little scuffle by the big man now and they get into the jump ball. Toss it up quick. Devils in control and it leads to them on the run. Off the glass, rebounds not kept. Bulldogs in transition, moving from left to right, looking to add to this lead. Up three points. Late in the third quarter. Into the paint, big man over the, over the defender, up and in. And he was looking at the ref for a foul right there. He couldn't get the whistle, but he was able to get the basket. Duke on the attack quick, up the floor quick, moving into the offense. Eight on the shot clock. Still looking for a basket. Shooter in the corner, wide open. And you know what happens when you leave a wide open in this league. Bang, bang, bang. Cut the lead down to two. Dogs are looking to answer. Seconds left in the third quarter. Number 15 to the big man Topley. He puts it up and he's off the back of the rim and that's the end of the third quarter. And what an exciting third quarter. The, the Georgia Bulldogs were able to maintain their lead, but Duke Blue Devils would not go away. And they found their offense once again to push this lead down, I mean cut this lead down to two. And, and as you see the State Farm assist of the game, as number 15 finds the big man underneath the rim for the two. And he's having a terrific game tonight. 68-66, start of the fourth quarter. Blue Devils moving the ball from right to left, looking to tie the game. Momentum's been on that side late in the third quarter and they're like to grab it and run with it in the fourth. Good opportunity at the rim. Jumpers up and off the rim. Bulldogs moving quickly up the floor. Looking to add to their lead. Big man in the paint. Pops it back out. Fisher the shooter. He passes on the ball. Number 15 in the corner. He comes off the screen. He's been, he's been at offense. But he pitches it out. Four on the shot clock. 15 back in the corner. He puts it up. And, and it rims out. And that leads to the Bulldogs on the run. Into that offensive set quick. They've been doing that all, all second half. 
Down to Soto, in the paint, he pops it back out to the shooter, just inside the key, and he knocks it down for two. And that would tie the game at 68. Blue Devils have fought their way back into this game early fourth quarter. And this game has been all offense for both sides. Bulldogs looking to answer. Shot clock once again down inside 10. Shot goes up, number 15 finds the bottom of the rim again and he's been the one to fight the Blue Devils off all night. And he continues. Dogs in control, 70-68. This has been back and forth from the opening tip. I think the biggest lead has been 10 by the Dogs, but it was quickly closed in by the Devils. And the Devils find that stroke again from three as they leave the shooter open. And you know what happened when they leave the shooter open in this league. Bang, bang, bang. Up one, early fourth quarter. Devils have tucked control of the game, but the Dogs are looking to get back in here. They're only down one, but they're looking for a good opportunity. Number 15 has been unstoppable, and he pulls up, but he comes up short that time. Leads to the Devils on the run. Moving, moving towards the rim, pushing the ball towards the basket, looking for number 11. He's been all offense all night tonight, and that's their guy. But they, but they try to alley-oop on the back door, and he comes up short. Bulldogs on the run, trying to find a shooter in the corner. Defense quickly there, but the cutter is there to catch and dunk. And who else but number 15 for the Bulldogs? His quarter weather tonight has been on 10. Dogs up 72-71, but Duke has something, something to say about that as they find Soto. On the move towards the rim, and the big man gets the rocket. Trading baskets, fourth quarter, 73 72. Blue Devils up. Dogs looking to answer. In their offense, surveying the court. Seven on the shot clock. Fisher with the open lane. He elevates and he dunks it hard on his defender. And he'll remember that dunk in the morning. I guarantee. Devils in, into their offense quickly. As I said, they've been moving the ball up the floor quick this whole second quarter. I mean, the second half. And they find their shooter in the corner wide open for three. And that silences the crowd as the Blue Devils go up two. But the Bulldogs move the ball up the floor pretty quickly. And they're able to find their big man in transition for the dunk. And he ties the game at 76. Seventy-six, seventy-six. Blue Devils in their offensive set, swinging the ball all the way around the paint. I think all five players have touched it on this possession. Looking for Soto at the top of the key. Four on the shot clock. Shooter's going to have to let it go. Top of the key. Off the back of the glass. Leads to the dogs in transition. Fisher pulls up, looking for a good shot. Couple of dribble moves on his defender and he pops it back out. Under 10 on the shot clock. They work it around, back to Fisher, number 15 in the corner. He's been all offense, all man, all game, and he puts it up for another two. He's off the board, but big man grabs the board and gives Georgia another opportunity. 15 on the move, up and off. And I think he's he's drawn a little cold at the wrong time of the game. 76, 76. Blue Devils with the ball. Looking to drop it in, and that ball is stolen. If number 15 can't do it on offense, then he'll definitely do it on defense as he comes up with the steal. But he turns it over on offense. So it leads to the Blue Devils in transition. Shooter in the corner, defense is all in his face. Back to the top of the key. Eight on the shot clock. Devils looking for a good shot. Duke, top of the key, he lets it go and he knocks that down. 
And that three was so big, he doesn't even recognize it. 79-76, Blue Devils in front. And they forced a foul on the floor. First personal foul in the second half. And it'll give the, the teams a chance to get some substitutions in the game. Dogs inbound it quickly. Looking to, looking to get back in the front of this game. Big man down low. He's stuck. He pops it back out. Eight on the clock. Fisher moves it around. Looking for number 15. But he's not on the floor right now. Eight, but he fouled. Blue Devils moving from right to left. Looking to add to the lead. And my fault number 15 is on the floor. Two minutes left in the game. Bulldogs looking to attack. Down below to the big man. He drops it up and he drops it in. Seventy nine, seventy eight. Blue Devils in front. Soto solo with his man headed towards the rim. Hop step. Good move by the big man, and he finishes strong. Helps the Blue Devils maintain their lead. Eighty one, seventy eight. But number 15 has something to say about it, and he's had something to say about it the entire game as he flushes on top of his defender to keep the Bulldogs in the game and in the fighting chance. Less than a, less than a minute and a half left. 81-80. Blue Devils rocking the one-point lead. It's pressure time. Eight seconds left on the clock. Soto the man with the ball in his hands, and he drives and he picks up the foul and he'll be headed to the line at a crucial point in the game Duke up one 81 80 late in the fourth quarter and these are probably the most crucial free throws this young man has ever took in his life Shooting two. Looking to extend the Blue Devils lead. First one's up. And it's in. Seems nice and calm at the line. As the referee gives him the ball for the second. As he eyes the rim, lets it go, and it's in again. Three point lead by the Dev Blue Devils, 83 80. Little over a minute left in this first, in, in, in this fourth quarter. And the Bulldogs try to add a hoop and it's broken up by the Blue Devils. That was kind of risky right there, but he seemed like he he seemed like he seen something that nobody else seen. But Duke seen it too. Number 15 with the ball in his hands. Seconds left in the game. Under a minute. Pulls up, shooting in the corner. Bang! Bang, bang, ties the game. Bulldogs back into it. Blue Devils inbound quickly into Soto. He drives towards the rim and he finishes with a dunk. And what a play late in this fourth quarter. Inside, inside a minute, he gets a wide open lane and dunks to take a two point lead. But Georgia with the quick inbound, he pushes it from deep and he knocks it down. Are you crazy?
Bang, bang, bang. Back to back threes. And Georgia has took a one point lead. 86 85. Seconds left. Soto continues to drive and flushes the ball once again. Are they not going to stop this guy? 87 86. Late in this fourth quarter. Neither team wants to go home tonight. Number 15 to the rim. He finishes with authority. As Georgia takes the lead, 87-88. And, and the Blue Devils will finally stop this clock. About 26 seconds left in this game. They traded baskets back and forth, back and forth all night, but really intensely the last couple of minutes. And neither team wants to go home. Soto can't be stopped to the rim, and he wasn't stopped there again as he gets the dunk in the Blue Devils go up by one. Georgia inbounding the ball quickly on the side. They've had back-to-back -back threes. But now, taking their time, seeing if they can draw it down. He's down from three. That was off. Soto with the ball and the Bulldogs are forced to foul. Under 10 seconds left in the game. Blue Devils at the free throw line. He knocks down his first one. Extends it to a two point lead. Second one in. And it, it, it extends it to a three point lead. Duke up 91-88. Bulldogs with a last chance effort from three. Saucin is off. And it looks like the Blue Devils are headed to the line to ice the game. And who, who else but Soto as he knocks down his first free throw. And he misses the second. Gives the dogs a, a chance at a long win. But the Blue Devils hold off for the game. Victory. 92-88. Blue Devils on top and what a game and what an effort by Soto, number 11. He was the man of the hour and he was the man of the game, of course. He was all offense for the Blue Devils and the Bulldogs had no answer for him. What a game by number 15, though. Number 15, Nene did his thing today for the Bulldogs, but it wasn't enough. Blue Devils take the victory, and Soto takes the player of the game. 92-88, and thank you for joining us, SGBA family. Another great game from the SGBA team. Sweet 16 action at its best. Good night.